Hello citizens of the world, we are anonymous. Dear brothers and sisters, now is the time to open your eyes and expose the truth. It has come to our attention that someone within the world of anonymous, there has been grave threats life, physical attacks, as well as compromised IRC networks. There are certain groups of people that pose as anonymous that have connections with the Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau of Investigation, and other government agencies aimed at harming or killing activists and people within the anonymous community. These groups that are promoting disunity and false information, tricking our fellow brothers into a contaminated cloud of operations and information in an effort to depict Anonymous as a terrorist organization and to invoke psychological warfare within the Anonymous community. The DOX exposes such anti-Anonymous members as I has Candy, whose real name is David Michael Heine. Mr. Heine is a FBI and CIA informant as well as a suspected pedophile during a dark net investigation. Anonymous discovered that Mr. Heine was a past channel operator in teen related channels on EFNET. Further research has shown him to even operate portals targeting underage children. The Jester, whose real name is Thomas Ryan has been pushing lies and disinformation across the web. Mr. Ryan is a strong advocate against Occupy Wall Street and WikiLeaks, and Thomas is obsessed with unmasking members of Anonymous, extreme pro-military industrial complex, and right-wing neoconservative. Mr. Ryan is obsessed with Anonymous turned snitch Hector Monsegur, also known as Sabu. The Black Packet, who was responsible for Operation Warhead causing Anonymous to look like extreme terrorists is known to operate on Facebook. The Black Packet is considered dangerous and has complete access to any Facebook accounts. Anyone who reports the Black Packet for abuse such as hacking Facebook pages get automatically banned from Facebook. Such people who are targeted by the Black Packet are information warriors, activists, freedom fighters, and members of Anonymous. After Obama's speech to Congress threatening activists and Anonymous members live on national television, Anonymous members and liberty activists began to go missing or killed, run over by government cars, targeted with sniper rifles, destroyed financially. All of these actions were conducted without charge or trial and is part of the National Defense Authorization Act. While there are other extreme threats to information warriors, activists, freedom fighters, and members of Anonymous, it is imperative to know that such threats exist within the Liberty community and the 99% is responsible for protecting the lives of those who fight for our inalienable rights to life, freedom and liberty. Anonymous cannot and will not tolerate threats of physical harm or cyber domination to the innocent. Anonymous will systematically expel any person from the internet who feels that the life of another has less value than their own. Such actions will have no place in the world of the 99% and will be forced to seek refuge with the elite 1%. Too many anonymous brothers and sisters have risked their lives to spread truth. There is no leader of anonymous, there is no god of anonymous. Anonymous is an idea, and an idea cannot be killed. United as one, Do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.